talk to you a little bit about conservation of energy and momentum and a cool phenomenon that um, no matter how much mass you put on the end of a pendulum, it's always got to swing for the exact same amount of time. You might have noticed this if you've ever like pushed a lineup of kids on a swing set. Big kids, little kids, they all swing at the same time because as long as your length of your pendulum is the same, the time in which it goes across is going to be the same as well, which is helpful when you're making clocks and all sorts of other things. So to show you that, I've got like a three kilogram mass here on the end of this pendulum. We're going to swing it. We're going to time it. You guys can see it. I'm not cheating. Then I'm going to um, actually get on it. I'm significantly heavier than three kilograms. And I'm going to swing on it. And I'll show you that I'm going to swing at the exact same amount of time as this here mass. So if we have the timer ready. And when you're swinging, we're going to start her from timing when she reaches her highest point over here, because that's the best time to start her timing. Because it's always iffy exactly when she starts on that side. So when she reaches the maximum side over here, we'll start the timer. And we're going to go for like three swings. If you want to help me count them out, we'll start from there and back to one.